Hello everyone, this is single fire AI6 fiber splicer. Now we use the new fiber holder, the 3-in-1 fiber holder. You see, it can, it can hold jump fiber, rubber insulated fiber, and bare fiber. And then it is fixed on our machine, you see. Then I will show you how to use the 3-in-1 fiber holder. Okay. Okay, turn on the machine. Now look at this mobile phone. We have an application to control this machine. You see here, signal fire. You can download this app from our official website. All right. When you download and install this app, you can see log in, register, and skip. I suggest you'd better to register it because we will provide some services from the application in the future. But now I will skip it. Okay, you will see four parts. Fiber splicing, learn how to, read record, and after sales service. Now we choose the fiber splicing. Now here there is the list from there is the list of the Wi-Fi. You see the Wi-Fi list. Every machine has a Wi-Fi number on the bottom here. You see here. 4526. Now we should choose the same number to connect the machine. Yeah, from the list you see. Four file two six. Now click it here. Single mode and uh, multiple mode. Then I will use the sing single mode fiber, so I choose this one. Usually we use the normal splicing. Okay. Normal splicing. All right. Let's do it. Here is the jump fiber. We should use. The Protective tube. And this one. Shrink tube. Okay. Strip it. Then use the alcohol to clean it. Okay, now look at our fiber cleaver. There is the graduation on the cleaver. You see here. Okay, a graduation. So as the as the boundary as the boundary from the yellow line, we put it on. Uh, um, uh, we put it uh, between 15 to 80. You see? 15 to 18. Alright, about, uh, about uh, 17. Okay, cut it. Carefully, you must uh, put the fiber in the V groove, this is the, the blue one, V groove, okay. But uh, don't beyond the electrodes, you can see. And, okay, close it. This is the rubber insulated fiber. Or this one.
Okay, it's the same. We should put it between 15 to 18. Same to the jump fiber. Okay. Now I put it about 17. Put it in the blue groove and don't be on the electrode. Okay. Now we just need to close the lid. Right. We will see. It's automatic. Surprising succeed. You will see on the screen. Okay, now we should hit it. Carefully to take out. And put in the heat here. See, okay. Now we should heat the shriek. See the bottom, the heat button. Yeah, push it. Push it and the, the red the red line will on. When the when the red line off means the heat is ready. So the, now I will show you the bare fiber to surprise thing. Okay. Now here is two bare fiber. To cut the fiber is, is different to jump fiber and the rubber insulated fiber. Uh, as the boundary of the layer, cutting layer, as the cutting layer, we should put it bet between 10 to 15. Okay. The same, 10 to 15. Okay, and just uh, close it. Good. Surprising succeed. Alright. And uh, we will see the light is off. I mean, the heat is ready. You see? It's ready. Then we will use the protective tube.
Okay, supply scene finished. Okay, thanks. Hello, this is the single fire AI6 fiber suppressor. Today I will introduce the manual mode. Okay, let's open the machine. Now we have two fibers, jump fiber and the ruble insulated fiber. For the manual mode, all the operation is sent to the automatic mode on this part. The jump fiber and the ruby insulated fiber is thin on the cleaver. It's between 15 to 18. You see, you see the number? 15 to 18. I put it on the about 17. Okay. Cut it. And I put it put it in the machine. This side, rubber insulated fiber. to the jump fiber 15 to 18 if you use the bare fiber the bare fiber on the cleaver is between 10 to 15 okay Now we can see the fibers on the screen. Now we should to adjust adjust the two fibers by ourselves. Okay, move the two fibers on the middle. You see, we have the cell. Put them on the middle and away from one cell like this. You see. And which light is on, which which side is visible, you see, and this side is off. Okay. All right, this side is ready, and uh, switch, switch it. Because we have two cameras, so we we need to switch once at least. Okay, this side. All right. You see, we have a one, two, three, four, five, five level mode. Usually, we use the two level mode. One, two, three, four level is for the single mode fiber, and the five level is for the multiple fiber. Okay. When you when you adjust the ready, and arc it. Okay. Succeed. Now let's hit it.
Rotate it really. And uh, push the heat button. When the light is off, means the heat is ready. Okay, the heat is finished. Let's see. Cold it. And uh, we have the protective tube. Alright, all the space finished. Okay, thanks.